Good afternoon, Racer Race VT. Cam's shirtless in the driveway. It's hot out here, man. It's it's really hot out. He's having O2 sensor issues or catalytic converter issues with his car. Cat is 99 probably percent bad. We were originally going to replace an O2 sensor, but after a further delegation, we are not going to do that. We're going to go to AutoZone. We're going to pick up a very special part. And if you're in this situation yourself, this is the easiest, cheapest fix for this problem, especially if you plan on selling the car. Alrighty, Cam. On to the AutoZone. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth connected. Bluetooth connected. <laughs> All the legacies are getting worked on today, except for mine. Mine is reliable and perfect the way that it is. <laughs> At the light, turn left. In 2.3 miles, turn right onto West Lakeshore Drive. Shoo! Get the rev limiter on that. Yes, sir. If you just want me to, like, whatever you want me to do. Alrighty, so we're about five minutes away from Autozone. Uh, almost there. Only There's one bad person. Only, only, we only pissed off at least one person. At least physically, they honked at us, but forget about it. Anyways, we're like five minutes away, so meet you there. Alrighty, Cam. I'm gonna walk into the auto zone. Get some. Yeah. This will at least remedy it temporarily, until you can get your monitor set for a Vermont State inspection. But that's all you really needed to do. So. So AutoZone in Essex. Disappointment. We got let down, so we're going to Advanced. If Advanced doesn't have them, then it's O'Reilly's. And if O'Reilly's doesn't have them, I guess this car's out of luck, and it's not my problem. No, nah, you just order them online. Yeah. Dude, BBSs. Alrighty. So Advanced Auto Parts did not disappoint. We got these. These are spark plug defoulers. And uh, we're just going to use them as uh, an O2 sensor spacer to pull the O2 sensor out of the exhaust stream and reduce the amount of reading that's on that O2. Damn. Damn. Alrighty. Fuel. McDicks. How's it going over here, Rob? The coilovers. <laughs> Trying to dial in the fitment. Yeah, I slammed it, but then I couldn't turn or drive straight. Because it was slammed. Jesus Christ! Damn. But it was ride height for me. It was your current aired out front. Wow. Like Thirty millimeters. That's a flood, dude. But I need some small tires. And I'm gonna be down for Alrighty. So this is a spark plug defouler. These are available at most auto parts stores. This is the correct, hold on. <laughs> So this is actually the same thread pitch as the O2 sensor that you put in most Subarus. This one specifically is the 18 millimeter one. Um, definitely bring an old or a new O2 sensor with you to double check the thread. If you're not sure, you can always crack these open or have one of the auto parts store attendees or associates kind of pull these out of the box, make sure that fits over there but for the most part they do fit. So we're just gonna crack this open. This is a very, very simple process. So included in this one, this was like $8.99 or $9.99 or something like that. They come with uh, crush gaskets conveniently and these will thread right into there. Problem is you gotta drill them out first. So you can kind of guess me, that's about a half an inch. We'll get a half inch drill bit. We'll send that through this whole thing right here and then this will thread in here. It'll space it out so that it pulls the O2 sensor out of the stream, the exhaust stream. Therefore, it kind of fudges the readings so that you don't have to uh, worry about replacing your pants anytime soon. Definitely, definitely use a pair of pliers to hold this. Don't do what I'm doing.
think it's gonna work because this is a little bit smaller than the yeah so we gotta we gotta keep drilling it out for a little bit uh we're gonna have to step up the drill bit size i think we might be able to go in both ways with this so we will find out soon enough here So now that we have this hollowed out, you can see there, it's basically just a threaded sleeve. You can take the O2 sensor and thread that in there. And just you can kind of see how it sits in there. It's out. So normally that O2 sensor would be all the way into the exhaust stream in the middle center of the exhaust pipe like that. But this will bring it down so it's out of the exhaust stream, picking up less uh, PPMs of carbon monoxide and all the not so great uh, emissions uh, that come out of the back end of your engine. So this is gonna make it so that the O2 sensor doesn't see how bad your exhaust really is, and it's gonna take away that uh, check engine light. So that's the easiest fix you can do. The kit comes with two. So, if you put this one in and it doesn't work, just stack the other one on top and it'll pull it even further out of the exhaust stream. So most uh, catless uh, exhaust systems, or test pipes or anything like that, use a form of this, albeit a little bit more uh, refined, that, that allows you to do the same thing, it's just built into the exhaust system. But this, this is basically just jerry-rigging that same, same style of O2 sensor spacer. Alrighty, put the key in. This is a $30 uh, OBD2 scanner from Amazon. I'll link it in the bio using our affiliate link. So it just press this. This also gives you live, live data and it's way better than the ones that you can buy at the auto parts store. So give it a second here. Alrighty, there we go. So go into engine, read codes, stored codes, P0420. Bank one, so it's gonna be underneath the passenger side of the vehicle. All right. Got the old O2 sensor, got the new one right here. All right, now it's time to put it back in to the spot where it came from. Thread this in like this. Just crush that crush washer. Now we're lucky, they gave us a little bit extra slack for the O2 sensor wire on the back tail here as compared to the stock one. That'll give us a little bit more extra room because this is going to kick it a little bit further from where the plug is or normally sits. So, it's one right here. So, this is going to thread right into that hole. Hopefully, we don't have any clearance issues and uh, should go right on there. No problems, no questions asked. At least that's the hope. Perfect. You can get that wrench off there. So, I'm just going to hand thread it on there. Got this tight on there. All those crush washers are crushed. Just gonna sneak underneath here. Plug in the O2 back into the bung. We're gonna call it a day. There we go. All 
Alrighty. Plugged in, back into its little slot. Let's clear some codes. Take it for a spin around the block. Make sure that that works. And we should be all set to go. General consensus is that we're gonna have to start this up. Plug in the and once it boots up. There we go. Engine codes, read codes, stored codes, P0420, still in there. Go down to the pending codes. Okay. Alright, so let's clear these out. Race codes. Now the check engine light is gone. Hopefully it does not come back while it's idling here. But let's get to it. Alright. Test drive time. Hell yeah, bro. Alright, so if you want to just rip it on the belt line real quick. Uh That's the good real-world test. Yeah. And uh, no check engine light yet, so. Nope. And the smell's already going away, which is kind of nice. Alrighty. Probably. Mission success, dude. Definitely, definitely mission accomplished. So, thank, thank God for that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Alrighty, just gonna take this thing back home and uh, see you in a minute. 